Did you feel that shake this afternoon? The U.S. Geological Survey confirmed a 2.36 magnitude earthquake near Elgin. That is the second quake today. There was another confirmed tremor about 7 o'clock this morning. It registered in at 2.5 on the Richter scale. So there's been a lot of rocking and rolling across the Midlands. It's the seventh low magnitude earthquake to occur this week. News 19's Becky Buzz explains the cause of these quakes. Seven earthquakes in less than a week, and all happening within miles of Elgin. This morning wasn't as, as intense as the other day. That was, that was very scary. I thought we'd been hit by a truck or something. Monday's quake had a magnitude of 3.2, the biggest all week. Since then, magnitudes have ranged, with the smallest one measuring in at 1.1. Really need to get into the magnitude four or four and a half range where you may get some minor damage. Stephen Jean May, a professor at the College of Charleston, says these quakes are normal given that Elgin falls along the eastern Piedmont fault system, a large fault system that extends northeasterly from Georgia through South Carolina, North Carolina, and into Virginia. Jame says these small quakes are likely not leading up to something bigger, but there's not enough data to be exactly sure. Right. These particular set of small earthquakes don't give us uh, information on when the next big one's going to occur. Unlike weather, earthquakes are unpredictable and can happen at any moment. And there isn't a season. Uh, there is no specific thing to look for to tell you it's coming. It will show up when it shows up. Um, and so you, you have to at least mentally be prepared all the time. When one does occur, Jaume says to drop, cover, and hold. First, drop to the floor, then find cover under a desk or a table, and hold on until the shaking stops. If you're outside, get away from anything that can fall on you like trees or light poles. Reporting in Elgin, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX.